Ask credit by adapt warrior. What's a no shit moment where you realized you've been doing something the wrong way for years? Deleted. Well, price just went up. When I was 5 a Pizza Hut employee told me that the powder on the breadsticks was called fairy dust. Ordered extra fairy dust on my breadsticks until I was around 14 when an employee said do you mean garlic salt it still devastates me to realize how obtuse I was. I worked at Pizza Hut from 16-21. We called it fairy dust. It wasn't very long. But when I was learning to drive my dad was explaining the rule of thumb regarding a safe distance to be behind the car in front of you. I thought it meant to hold your thumb up and if your thumb didn't cover the entire car you were too close to it. When he caught me doing that he asked me what I was doing. When I explained he burst out laughing, then considered it, and concluded it wasn't a bad idea but perhaps a bit distracting. Also every other driver thinks you're a super friendly guy or a bit passive aggressive. We bought a nice liquor cabinet. We got it delivered and noticed it was a bit shorter than we thought. No biggie. Three years later, we're moving. Lift up cabinet and these beautiful, ornate, screw on legs wrapped in tape and bubble wrap fall off the bottom. Looks so much better now. Reminds me of when my mum bought a new sofa. About 6 months later she's hoovering under the cushions when the base fabric pulls back to reveal some sort of metal and... A mattress? Turns out we had a sofa bed. Made my friend sleep on the floor with a sofa bed right there. Until last week, when my father-in-law would made a phone call on his very basic non-touch screen flip phone he would open the menu, scroll to the phone icon, open it, hit the soft key for contacts. Scroll to the person he wanted to call, press OK, then press the soft key to call. When he mentioned how he preferred his landline because he could just dial the number, I said humor me. Just dial the number and hit the talk button, I've never seen a man so simultaneously grateful and embarrassed. I'm so used to relying on my contacts that I don't bother to memorize phone numbers anymore. Yikes. Since the dawn of time. I would pick up the silverware and utensils out of their tray in the dishwasher and put them away in their drawers then go back and pick up more out of the dishwasher. Then one day I saw my wife lift the tray out of the dishwasher and I legit stood there with my mouth open. God damn it. I knew that thing moved because I've removed it and changed it around to make pans or big dishes fit better, and I've still been going back and forth for the silverware. When I was a kid I loved drinking coffee but didn't know how to make it. My mom taught me but the coffee ratio she told me to use was like 1 tablespoon per 1 pot of coffee as opposed to the actual ratio 1 tablespoon 1 cup of water. Fast forward about 13 years to a couple months ago and I was reading the back of my Folgers coffee thing and there was a little diagram showing how much to actually use. I then realized my mom had told me the wrong amount so I uh, wouldn't drink all her coffee and be wasn't super hyped up going into school. I always thought eggplant tasted itchy, like itchy was a flavor, like sour or salty. Fed some to my baby and his face turned red wherever the eggplant touched, and I realized we're both just allergic to eggplant. And itchy isn't a flavor. Edit, thank you for the silver, kind internet strangers. I lolled at itchy isn't a flavor. Apparently the red ring around the bologna is not supposed to be eaten. Now I'm no fan of bologna, but why the hell is it attached so firmly then? Like it tears off some of the meat if you try to remove it, at least in my experience. My mom has been pronouncing Massachusetts Massachusetts for years and no one corrected her because they thought she just had strong feelings about Massachusetts. My mother cannot pronounce that or Mitsubishi. She tries but same outcome and Mitsubishi comes out Mitsubishi. I lived in a house for 6 years with a bathroom with no shelf or cupboard to put toiletries into. I was very disappointed and ended up using a windowsill that was way too small to fit everything. Anyway, one day we had a friend over and he asked why we don't have anything in our bathroom cupboard. I was confused so he showed me. 
It turns out that the mirror I had been using for 6 years has a hidden compartment behind it. It was a mirrored daughter mounted cupboard on the wall. I was astonished and immediately moved all my stuff from the window into the new space. My friend was baffled that I had never figured out there was a space behind the mirror. There was an obvious gap between it and the wall that I somehow failed to notice. No one really ever told me you don't need to buy shoes with the two fingers space in front of the toes after your feet stop growing. I had been buying an entire size too big until about age 23. 23. One day in college I decided to try a pair of Merrill Barefoot type shoes and after reading the sizing guide, bam. Mind blown. It's terribly obvious mistake I, 29F, like to blame on being an only child. But really I'm just a fucking moron. I had this problem until about 25. Never really thought about it, I was always a size 10. That's what mom bought me in high school, why would it be any different now? Only thing is, I stopped growing at 14, never had another growth spurt. As guys, we were always told you'll keep growing till late teens, early 20s for some. Yeah, that didn't happen for me. Luckily I was buying a pair of nice boots and the clerk was like dude, there's no way you're a size 10. You're barely a size 9. I was so happy once the blisters I'd always dealt with went away. Well. This was a few years ago. I was the director of it for a very large company. I was given a new cell phone and told to set up my voicemail. I don't know that when I recorded my name it would be played to whomever I leave a voicemail for. Well the name I recorded was, Dudder 84 Corporate It God. I worked there for 4 years until someone in the hallway referred to me as the Corporate It God. I was so embarrassed. Wear it confidently this type of shit makes people like you more. They don't feel the need to be fake around you. My mom used to refer to me as a bull in a china shop. Always heard it as bowl in a china shop. Thinking it was a compliment. At about 22 I hear someone else use the phrase and realize she meant bull, not bowl. AWW mom talking about how dainty and priceless I am again. I owned a car with swivel headlights and it was very nice to have that. Discovered 3 years in that I had never turned on the swivel feature. My uncle has a 2005 Lexus that has swivel lights. When the car turns off, they face down. The swivel motor broke in both headlights a few years ago and no longer turn up to face straight. He lives a few hours from me and I don't visit that often, so when I finally went to visit him, I pointed out the problem. He had been using his high beams full time at night for years because he thought the low beams just weren't good enough. My name is Ryan. It took me until I was in first grade to realize my name wasn't in the alphabet. My mom had told me my name was in the alphabet, and I felt so lucky. She obviously meant the letters to spell my name were in the alphabet. But nope. It took that long to realize the alphabet didn't go W, X, Ryan Z. Don't feel bad. My birthday is in July. I was under the impression until I was 7 that the 4th of July, the fireworks, specifically, were for my birthday. I felt really dumb, but also really really sad when I realized they weren't. Edit, Umfeo one of the dumbest parts of my early childhood. And it is worth a silver. Thanks Reddit. I'm glad someone found my naivety entertaining. Last month was the first time I discovered lint rollers were peelable. Literally sat there for a minute to take that in. Edit, I'm 20. So, did you just buy new ones every time it stopped being sticky? I thought this energy. My eldest child had a penchant for blowing out of his diapers we tried everything but multiple times a week we had to pull that poo filled on Ishii over his head and inevitably give our now super duper poo covered infant a bath. Around when I was pregnant with our second, a post went viral about how infant onesies are designed to be brought at the shoulders so you can pull them down and off instead of over the head. 
Poor kid would have had so many fewer poo and hair incidents had I known that then. After the first paragraph I assumed you were putting the diaper on wrong and was really interested to hear how. Not that I have any idea if one even can put a diaper on wrong, as I have never changed one. Edit, random typo. Not wrong for years, but I work help desk, and we use a specific, terrible, piece of software for our support system, IBM Notes. It turns out, that for the first 9 months I had been working there, it wasn't set up properly, so I wasn't sending any emails from it, at all. No notifications that the ticket went to me, no responses from me, no close notifications, nothing. Someone noticed this, took a look, and fixed a setting. I immediately sent out over a thousand emails to everyone in the company. Deleted. Realize the multicolored tape measures glued to the door frames of gas stations etc. are for identifying robbers, not for measuring yourself as you walk out. I mean, they can be, but that's not why they are there. Unless you're the robber. I've seen so many stores where whoever installed it clearly didn't know what it was for either, because I'm 6, but in some stores I'm 7 and in some I'm 5. Deleted. I used to lace the speed hooks on my boots with two hands until I saw my linesman friend, speed hook his boots, https colon slash slash, yahtoo.be slash 1qwxnmu7wi0 close bracket like this. I was shook. Not mine, but my dad has been spelling his name wrong his whole life. He's 51. His name is Jeffrey, and he's been spelling it like that since he learned how to spell his name. A few months ago my mom pulled out his birth certificate, and we all learned it's actually spelled Jeffrey. Not sure if he spells it correctly now. But it was definitely an oh shit moment for him. Grandfather thought his name was Harvey his whole life. Got his birth certificate at 65 and it's Harmon. My first gold. Thanks. Learned earlier last year bust a nut isn't an expression for when something hits your nuts or you land in a way that crushes them. You are not necessarily wrong, depends on your inclination. I was at Crate and Barrel with my GF talking about how it's so weird they don't make tongs so you open them up super wide and then press in. I thought it was odd that they only gave you a super tiny opening. In the middle of me saying this she just presses the button at the bottom of the tongs I was holding and I stop mid-sentence in shame. For about 3 years, we only bought classy Crate and Amp, Barrel furniture for work. We'd have it shipped in from out of state. And finally I asked my boss why we didn't just pick it up at the showroom. She asked what showroom. I said the showroom attached to the restaurant. The Cracker Barrel restaurant. No, they are not the same company. When I was a kid and was acting up, my dad would always threaten to leave me at this mean old lady's house. Her name was Helen Handbasket. Fast forward about 28 years later and it clicks out of nowhere while I was on a customer call at work. Customer, this whole network is going to hell in a handbasket. Me, H A. I'm an idiot. Customer, did you figure it out? Me, oh. No. Not yet. I used to fill the kettle by the spout, my parents have always done it this way, I thought the center part was mainly for decoration, but not functional. I don't know why I never questioned this. One day I bought a new tea kettle and my husband was like WTF what is inside this, and with great ease, opened the center to pull out a manual with instructions and what not. I was drinking dirty paper water for like 2 weeks. Okay but why did your parents do this in the first place? When I first got a debit card and would go out to eat at restaurants with my friends, I would leave a cash tip on the table when I got the receipt to put how much I was paying I would write down how much money I left on the table for at least 6 months I gave double tips to every waitress I had. Edit, Word. I did this to a pizza guy once. I gave him a cash tip and amp. 
When he gave me the receipt to sign I put down how much cash tip I gave him. He told me well you're giving me more I was like, is that not how it works he said he'd correct it for me once he got back to the store. I felt pretty embarrassed. One day I used the key fob to remotely start my dad's car. It was a no shit moment for him. Two years and he didn't realize he had this handy little function. My dad bought an aftermarket remote start and took it in to get installed. When he went to pick it up, they asked him what was wrong with the factory one. When I was a kid, I was told that the paper that came on cupcakes muffins was edible. I would spend a decade eating them like this, paper and all, until a friend pointed it out. And X200B. I mean, you ate them for a decade. I think you proved they are edible. My family always had a cup next to the bathroom sink in case you needed to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth or maybe get a quick drink of water in the middle of the night. My grandma had the same cup at her house. I used it for years whenever I was thirsty. One day she saw me doing this and said, don't use that cup. That's where grandma puts her teeth. One time me and my little cousin were brushing our teeth at the same time at my grandma's. She had to have been maybe 7, ish, and grabbed the pink cup and took a sip before I could stop her and the dentures came at her and her eyes got so big, she just put the cup back and left the bathroom. Edit, wow thanks for the silver. I'm gonna tell her that the fake teeth coming for her has given me so many internet points, although she probably doesn't even remember. I was 30 when I found out that an event calendar as I called it, is not a thing and it's an advent calendar. I was 32 when I found out advent is not short for adventure. I didn't realize I had to brush the back of my teeth as well as the front. I was a dumb kid I blame toothpaste adverts, until I was 15. Had 9 filings and a root canal. Same. Embarrassingly enough, I thought you brushed your teeth to keep them white. I didn't know anything about keeping them healthy, so I thought, I don't mind if my back teeth are yellow, nobody's going to see them anyway. My wife and I have this ceiling fan light in our bedroom in the house we moved into two years ago. It has a remote control for the fan and lights. About a year and a half ago the lights suddenly stopped working. The fan works well and we didn't have a ton of money so we've just lived with lamps in the room. Always being frustrated with how damn dark it is. I was scrolling some other thread on a Screddit to foo a few weeks ago and the top post was a guy talking about how his lights stopped working years ago, and then he found out that it was just dimmed, which you do by holding down the button on the remote. It sounded so much like our fan I went and tried it. Dimmed. Oh gosh. I remember reading that post too. If this happens I hope I remember to check that first. I didn't find out that I was supposed to punch out for lunch until my third job. And even then it was because a co-worker mentioned it in passing that they were clocking out for lunch. That's freaking awesome. I cannot believe none of your bosses did not ever say anything to you. Winding a watch that was battery powered. For like, a year. Ah, fuck. Thanks for making me think of that. What did you even do? What part is there to wind? Did you just turn it backwards 12 hours or something? As a boy, I had an unconventional method for masturbating. It would require a diagram to get across all its subtleties, but let's just say that it required two hands, was not intuitive, and simulated no known sex act it was suboptimal. After a year or so of convoluted self-abuse, one of the older kids made the international jerk-off hand gesture towards me. My jaw dropped. I instantly knew that I had been doing it wrong all that time. It was so simple, so obvious, way quieter, and way more effective. I tried it that night and never looked back. That dude changed my life. Thank you, Chris Eastman. Edit none of the guesses are even remotely close. I'm so curious about this unconventional method. Former school nurse here. The number of high school boys who don't know what circumcision is is amazingly high. 
Many think they were born circumcised. When they finally see a foreskin, they are in complete awe. When they find out the brown ring on their penis is a scar from when their foreskin was removed, they are also amazed. Wow. Deleted. You'd think he'd figure out that they weren't when he went into a stall in a men's room. I ate mangoes with the skin on for a while before I learned you're supposed to peel them. Deleted. I used to think just reading the material was how everyone studied, so that's how I did it too. I never quite understood why my grades were so low, I'd be like I read the page, idk what happened until I saw my friend making flowcharts and summaries and I was like we don't have to do that you know and he was like nah, I'm just studying. It blew my mind how much better my grades got. Edit, bet you thought you were ill original coming up with that username joke. Bet you thought I'd never heard it before, huh? Well who's not smart new no, oh, 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 still me okay yeah I'll go home sorry. Looking back on it, I was never really taught how to study. I don't think a lot of people were, and for some people it's instinctual, but it isn't for everyone. Schools should hold a course on various methods of studying. I used to pull my pants down all the way at the urinal. I was with my little cousin at the mall. I was 13, he was 9. We went to pee at the urinals and I saw him pull his pants all the way down. I was like, no and explained how to use the zipper. A guy comes walking out of the stall and says, good work showing that boy how to get that hose out. Deleted. This is a bigger problem than it should be, and most of the confusion comes not from the car is on lights. Those are a safety feature called daytime running lights. They are around 30-40% as bright as actual headlights and are not linked to tail lights. They stay off. I drive 40 minutes home at night mf and see 3-4 cars like this every time. None, not a one, has ever figured out that they were wrong when I flash my high beams at them or flip my lights off and on in front or behind them. Idiots. Not cause I've been doing something wrong my entire life but saw it wrong. I'm caught or blind and my entire life I thought peanut butter was green until I turned 19. And when I found out it was brown my mind was blown. It took so long because no one really talks about the color of things like that. Deleted. I didn't know you could take off the caps of those refrigerated coffee creamers. I had been stabbing through the foil with a knife for years until my uncle saw me and asked what the fuck I was doing, lol. Edit to say I'm a woman, people always think I'm a guy by my comments. If it makes you feel better my brother used to think those were milkshake beverages until I pointed put to him he was chugging international delight, the coffee creamer. Cork guns. Everyone says that you're supposed to pull it towards you. But I saw a Reddit comment saying that they are designed to be pushed away instead. My boss looks at me funny for doing it, but it's exponentially cleaner and tighter. Edit, quite a few of you all are mentioning that you're unclear on what you're pushing away. When you cork you slide the entire gun across the crack that you're sealing, so it's that. You can only ever slide it towards you or away from you, unless you're going sideways, I guess. And most people pull the entire gun and tip towards them whereas sliding it in the other direction works too. A few of y'all sound like you know exactly what you're doing and have added a couple other tips on how to do it cleaner and better, too, so thanks for that. I have a lot of corking to do soon. I will be testing this hypothesis. So. I was fortunate enough to buy my own home due to unfortunate circumstances. I moved in and the thermostat thing was set to about 70 degrees, F. As time went on, I couldn't figure out why there was no visible way for me to change the temperature. My electric bill would be through the roof every month. The thermostat is well above my eye level and I lived alone for quite some time, though family and friends did visit regularly. After several months of leaving windows opened or closed to adapt to the change in weather, I finally asked my niece, I think to check the thermostat for a way to change the temperature. She looked around for a bit and saw that there was a tab I was supposed to pull to reveal all of the buttons and settings of the goddamn thermostat. 
Oh shit. So glad I posted this late enough for it to go mostly unnoticed. I'm an idiot. Edit. So it's been months, not years. Still. Damn it. I thought of a second one. I was incredibly sheltered growing up. Anything sex related was taboo and not discussed. I was in middle school when instant messaging really became mainstream. I couldn't understand why the boy I had a crush on kept laughing at me and telling me not to use the shorthand come for come. I didn't find out for a few years. Related, I genuinely thought a hand job was essentially frantically waving side to side with the palm on the penis and a blow job was you guessed it blowing on a penis until probably around 8th grade. Sigh. That you do, in fact, need to disassemble your laundry dryer and clean the lint out from underneath the drum once per year. I'm 31 and never knew this, no one ever said anything, never saw anyone do this. Crappiest thing is that my parents also learned this the hard way and never bothered to give me a tip when I bought my first dryer. Luckily, the wife and I discovered the lint build up when changing the rollers. I said to my parents wow it really builds up in there and they were like oh yeah you need to do that like once a year. Where are it? Hold up a hot minute here. What do you mean I need to disassemble my laundry dryer and clean the lint out from underneath the drum are you talking about pulling the dryer out and taking the back off the dryer or what do you mean?